What's up, BKC? You know we're in here for another episode. Bloodline Kennel Club. I hope you guys liking the vibe so far. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You're about to get right into it. Funny top book, I still have your spag, I keep a fierce just push you know. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Fosachi, Nike, Hadida, Set Clux, Cabrillet, Bam. This man, Vive, 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 What's up, y'all? You know, it's your boy Jay Reed coming out with another episode with the BKC. Today we're going to be talking about how we bathe our dogs with the upcoming hurricane season, some of the things that you guys should look out for. And also, guys, I wanted to also point out that we started our For Breeders series just last week. For those of you who haven't checked it out, you can go check it out, you know, in our videos. And of course, you subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to get more info. The For Breeders series is all about learning uh, as a new kennel. It's all about learning for newcomers in the business. We have a lot of people aspiring to be breeders, just like myself. So it's just my guideline of exactly how we go about doing stuff at the BKC. And hopefully that could help out some of you guys out there as well. So look out for the For Breeders series. We had part one out, which was based on, you know, buying an American bully puppy for breeders. And then we'll be having part two coming out very soon, guys. So look out for that. Let's jump straight into this video. okay guys so to start this off you know with what we do you know we give our dogs regular baths you know so if you have your bath style you know of course continue to stick with it this video is not about your regular bath this video is about what's the extra steps that we take during you know the hurricane season here at the bkc you know following the temperature and the weather around us so right now the dogs are just having fun they've already taken their bath you know so we have them playing around you know wetting them with the hose and whatnot because we know we're going to be taking them out for a soak in a moment so right now they're just having fun you know when they're done soaking they're going to go relax and you know chill limitless prodigies here we hand for the wisdom hand for the knowledge learn more things than me learn at college chakra blockage alchemy ancient knowledge we stack up and package a cabbage bought the mansion cash no mortgage 24 7 we manage tell them we cannot be average so for those of you just tuning in as you know the bkc you know we're located in the caribbean in a small island called saint lucia so we do have a hurricane season to keep up with which lasts from june up until november so because of that you know we try to follow the temperature with our kennels here at the bkc some apple cider vinegar today i'm going to show you guys how you know we soak our dogs especially now that the rainy season is coming out here in the caribbean so it's going to be some cooler uh cooler weather right now so of course you want to make sure that you using your vinegar okay and i'm going to explain exactly why so let's get straight into it so here at the bkc guys what we do is we use about a cup of water to a third of a barrel a regular size barrel which is about 50 gallons so in essence we're doing about 16 gallons of water to one cup of organic apple cider vinegar and what we do is we soak the dogs in there for about 10 to 15 minutes each so that way it could get into all of the different spots and make sure that we're soaking them up nicely so why do we use apple cider vinegar well guys, we're going into a rainy season right now and of course the rainy season is going to bring moisture and moisture is going to build home for mites. You know, and the apple cider vinegar has a way of doing away with mites. Also, um, if you feed in your dog, you know, on kibble, dry foods, uh, which is heavy in carbohydrates, you know, that also is a contributor to the homes for the mites. So you want to make sure that you're doing this consistently, especially throughout the rainy season. Uh, so that way you keep your dogs in good shape, you keep their fur in good shape, and you prevent mites. Okay, that's just one way of handling the problem, and that's how we do it at the BKC. So here, guys, we have our boy Smoke. You know, he's a monster, so he's not too comfortable right now, you know, taking the bath in the tub. Of course, if he sits down, you know, he'll fit quite nicely and just get a nice wash. But since it's his first time, you know, we're just getting comfortable right now. You know, we're not really deep into the hurricane season as yet. You know, I'll allow him to have his way and then we'll bathe him up, you know. But of course, it's always better to have a bigger tub so you could soak your dogs in, especially based on the size of your dog. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. 
Now I've been getting a lot of questions about breeding and whatnot, guys. So don't worry about it. It's coming out soon. But of course, you know, with BKC, we always want some transparency. So if you look at my boy Smoke here, you realize that if you look at his feet, if you really take a, a, a good look at him, he has a little bit of east-west, you know. So that's something that we're looking to breed out of him. And, you know, that's why we have Roxy. Whether it was planned that way, no, it wasn't planned that way. But God has a way of working things out. And we were able to get Roxy, which has, you know, perfect feet. And Smoke, who has slight east-west, but definitely has everything else that we need in an American bully. So this breeding is definitely going to provide some correction. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's something that he has genetically, so I wouldn't be too worried about it because I've looked at his family tree and there's no east-west anywhere. Um, I think I would take the blame as to his east-west right now, mainly because um, he was always eating, you know, flat out on the ground and was on a very high protein diet. And as you know, guys, you know, you're building a bone throughout that entire time and the dogs have their ligaments as well that would need to strengthen up. And sometimes as breeders, we don't focus on that. So I'll take the blame for that. Of course, we're growing. We are young kennel. So uh, with that knowledge, I'll be sharing that with you guys as well. So that way you don't have to go through it on your end. But it's always a good thing for you as a breeder to be able to see, you know, some of the flaws that you can have you have in your dogs. So that way you can know how to breed it out and provide, you know, excellent, you know, dogs for your customers in the future, which is what we're going to be doing with the BKC with our next breeding. So we have the dogs, you know, out of the water, back into the kennel and just chilling out. You know, we are going to allow them to dry up with the um, apple cider vinegar water on them. Uh, of course, guys, this has been another episode of BKC. I like to big up my boy at QBN Kennels. You know, this video is inspired by QBN Kennels, so you guys should check them out. And of course, guys, you know, continue to follow the BKC. Continue to like, continue to subscribe. And of course, we're looking out for those comments there. Have a good one, guys. BKC. Panita pour gaspiller les pièces, bagaille qui pas fiers, chasse pour jeune homme Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Tifosachi, Nike, Adidas, Sec, Clax, Cabrile, Bam Pisse, mes vieux vivent, la vie vieille, éduquée comme moi, copouette Mais ma caille m'a dit, bah ils autres, c'est 37, 37